All right, y'all, so before we get into this lit video, y'all, I want to shout out to my sponsor, Car Marshall. If you're looking for a new or a used car, click on the link below in my description and my pinned comment section, okay? CarMarshall.com will help you find and negotiate buying a new vehicle. You don't even have to negotiate anything. That's exactly what they're for. So make sure y'all go to the link in my description and also my pinned comment and go check out CarMarshall.com. Let's go ahead and get right into this spicy ass video. Let's get it. What is good, Diamond Dynasty, baby? Welcome back to another motherfucking video. There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just be right. like, let's not go too soon now. Feel the same. And a lot of girls say they might not. Hey. And today, baby, y'all already know the fuck going on in this goddamn video. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about Nikocado Avocado and the Stephanie Sue situation, all right? You guys wanted my opinion on why Nikocado Avocado is still not posting his apology or addressing the situation in any shape or form, okay? Now, a lot of you guys are saying that he had pre-recorded videos, which he may have had. He may have had tons of pre-recorded footage and videos that he wanted to post. However, it doesn't make him look good by posting all of this content, supposedly pre-recorded content or not, you know, to both of his channels without addressing the elephant in the room, okay? Like I said in a previous video, Nikocado Avocado defended B-Love's life and was saying Eat With Q was not addressing the situation and was kind of just posting videos like nothing was wrong. Okay, so that is exactly what Mr. Nikocado Avocado is doing. Everybody is calling him Cancelado at this moment in time. I feel for both of them because I know it's not easy for Stephanie to have to out all of that and express herself. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of people are still coming at Stephanie too, saying that she can't play the victim, that she needs to boss up, and it's not Nick's fault that she's fragile and sensitive. Okay, but like I said, you can't take your personal experience and your perspective and shove it on somebody else, okay? Maybe she is very fragile and maybe she is very sensitive due to the circumstances and situations that she has been through, okay? Now, I'm not trying to make an excuse for her to be sensitive because the world is not a sensitive place, as we know, okay? And Nikocado, I also feel for him too because it's not easy being on this public platform and getting basically, you know, crucified for not stepping up to the plate and actually speaking his truth in a timely fashion. So leave me a comment down below before we get into this video and let me know, man, up to this point, how do you feel about Nikocado Avocado? And how do you feel about Miss Stephanie Sue? Too sensitive? Nikocado Avocado, how do you feel about him? Too brash, okay? Let me know. A lot of you guys are saying that he's narcissistic and things of that nature. I am not a clinical doctor, so I can't diagnose anybody, all right? I feel like each and every one of us can have some narcissistic tendencies from time to time. I know I do. Pretty sure you guys out there do too. So man, without further ado, let me do the post notification shout outs of this video because y'all know I can talk my ass off and we're gonna try to save that for the latter of the video. Okay, Addy Shail, it's Lisa Baby and Kat Palumbo. Thank you beautiful people for actually, you know what I'm saying, coming through the comment section, showing me love, and also for having your notifications turned on, man. It really does mean a lot to me. As I always say right below this video, man, go cop your Diamond Life, Diamond Dynasty, baby, merch. Also, make sure you click the link in my description down below. Go subscribe to my spiritual channel. And if you have not already, make sure you join the Dynasty, baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Share this video with a friend, hit that bell, so you can be notified every time I post. Another lit ass video, make sure that you DM me at the real Diamond M and my backup page at the real Diamond MM. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell that angel mama, tell that Uncle Joe. That nigga's still a hoe. Let's get right into 
this motherfucking video. Let's get it, y'all. All right. First and foremost, I do want to address B Love's Life actually went into my comment section, watched my video, and I really do want to say thank you to B Love's Life for even taking the time out of your beautiful day. Just like all of you guys who click on my videos and watch, whether it be one second, two minutes, leave me a love comment, a hate comment, whatever it is. I want to thank you guys so much for even coming to my video, man. That means so much to me. B Love's Life, I will post the screenshot of what she had to say in reference to my previous video, okay? She wanted to clarify the situation with her siding with Nikocado Avocado. She was saying that she saw her name in the post, the in and out post. She thought it was a cute message. She didn't know the story behind it and she didn't know it was tied to any drama, okay? So she just reposted it like she reposts a lot of stuff. And I do know that B-Love's Life does post a lot of stuff from fans, supporters, just people in general, you know? Now, people were under the comments saying that she was lying, that she was really siding with Nikocado Avocado, whatever the case may be. Me, personally, I don't see B-Love's life being a dramatic person or wanting to be involved in any type of drama. Even when it came to the Eat With Q situation, it just didn't seem like she wanted to be involved in that at any rate, form, or fashion, okay? So, it does seem like she wants to protect her brand at all costs, which I feel like is very important for you being a YouTuber or a content creator creator unless you just want to be you know the person who is just drama filled always in drama loving the drama soaking it up if you're just a drama filled person and you like that type of attention then that's on you i don't judge you either but i don't think that b love's life is that type of person and wants that type of attention once again much love to b love's life i hope that you and your beautiful family had a wonderful and merry christmas and happy holidays a happy new year to all of you beautiful people too all right so, I wanted to speak on a few points on this video, okay? The 10 pack spicy fire noodle challenge with Zach Choi and Stephanie Sue, and of course, the infamous Nikocado Avocado, all right? So I wanted to address certain things that I thought were a little weird or awkward or interesting about the video, okay? And things that I picked up on as far as Nikocado controlling the conversation and things of that nature. So we're gonna go ahead and get into what I'm talking about here and let's get into it, y'all. Excuse me. Who's more likely to get murdered? More likely to get murdered. I would agree. I would agree, okay? Don't look like you can really knock nobody out. I'm just saying, Stephanie. It doesn't work like that. So he says, because she has the most money that she would be murdered first. And Stephanie Sue says it doesn't work like that, okay? Oh, wow. uh, well, it's true. She's a, I... she's a risk, rich fist. You should sell that shirt. She has awesome merch called this. You should need an extension called rich fist. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what is the this thing all about? Is it really another name for B-I-T-C-H or what does that stem for? Stem for? What the hell? Stem from? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. I have watched Stephanie Sue's videos before, but I really don't know where that tagline comes from. So leave me a comment down below. Give me some education on that. Now, as you can see right here, Nikocado Avocado says that you should come out with a shirt, Rich Biss, instead of just the Biss, okay? And this is about to be her response right here. I'm <laughs> There's a song called yes. Rich. As you can see by her body language, she's already feeling uncomfortable, okay? Oh, that's a, no, that's a bad word. A rich bitch? No, no. it's that. <laughs> dun, dun, eight, eight figures, my dad. <laughs> hey. Stephanie Sue has these outbursts that she be getting too goddamn hype. I be like, goddamn, girl. But it's cool, man. She has a lot of energy. And I feel like um, her energy comes from a positive and good place. I feel like she means well. And she just has that extroverted type of personality, which is nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and continue. I don't keep thinking about the same song. Yes, you are. <laughs> are we really? Are we? Yes, oh, are. yeah, we are. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. The people watching are like, we should not be singing this song. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Versus rich this. Get ratchet. Uh, okay, so if y'all didn't hear what he just said, he said he would like to buy rich bis instead of regular bis. And look how Stephanie Sue reacts. Once again, 
Nicky Cotto is not really responsible for how he makes anybody feel. But at the end of the day too, like, damn, why would you say that? And then you're saying it on video. And so you're basically saying that anybody who supports her merch or purchase her merch or her in general for creating the merch kind of makes her feel a little bad, as you can see by her, her, her facial expression right here. And even Zach Choi, look at Zach Choi's face. And they go looking like, okay, man, all right, all right. You really didn't have to say that. But anyway, let me, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Was that kind of out of line? Do you think that that was a little insensitive? Or do you think that it was just a joke? Or do you think that, you know, he has every right to express himself as he is, okay? Let's keep it going. Rich Yeah, maybe it'll be a collab with my fiance. Oh, yeah. Rich. I did nothing. <laughs> I, I, I did nothing. I got a ride in this Tesla lady. today. <laughs> It was beautiful. <laughs> 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 I love those noodles, man. Those noodles are so fucking good. They are spicy, but they're really good, actually. What happened? Oh, because she ain't put enough on them. Are you for real? She is feeling real uncomfortable. As you can see, Miss Stephanie Sue had like two two noodles on her uh, two noodles on her chopsticks. And he looked at her funny. Like, bitch, <laughs> scoop some more goddamn noodles on the damn uh, chopsticks. Cheers, chop my friends. <laughs> Cheers, my friends. Cheers, my friends. Nah, I don't think he meant any harm by that. Me personally, I don't think he meant no harm. She, she literally had three noodles on that goddamn on the chopstick. Coming up. Coming up. One noodle. <laughs> And it's easy to overcook noodles. I'd rather undercook noodles than overcook noodles. Oh, my hands are very fast. I stand up. No, I don't like it. Maybe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, Zach. Give her you know that. No, but you're not too, though. Oh, y'all too. Probably you. He's, have you ever had a cookie? Probably, now? Stephanie. I don't ever see uh, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Avocado cook. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I feel like it's good. Here we go. All right, let's eat. Here we go. He always a jack in the box and shit. Let's fast forward because this part is real awkward. When I do my videos and I'm eating, I don't like to look into their souls. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I like, used too long time ago because I thought that's what I was supposed Sometimes to do. Sometimes it is weird looking up. directly into yeah, the camera but for some reason. I feel weird. <clears throat> I feel like I'm like. You know, do you like to look in the viewfinder? I try not to, but sometimes I have to. Yeah. Does it make you narcissistic when you look at yourself in the viewfinder? <laughs> I don't know. I've heard that on the street. Says, so you know, in the hood. <laughs> All right. So basically, this is the part of the video. Stephanie Sue says she had to get out the wet wipes because he was basically trying to get her to speak on certain shit like veronica wang and that whole situation there okay he is basically trying to be messy so she is trying to wipe his ass down because you're doing too fucking much all right let's continue <laughs> Zach then went stage I, left. I, I heard the thing. I like to look deep into their soul, so I'm not a narcissistic. <laughs> I get washed and go to hell. Why is my body this? Okay. What did you want to share? <clears throat> or do you change your mind now? Um, I just feel like... Um, yeah. What 
to G. What you doing, boy? I'm bringing my daughter up here, y'all, because my son is acting a fucking fool. All right, sorry about that. Uh, let's continue. Um, hold on. Do you want to share, or do you change your mind now? Um, I just feel like maybe, You said you wanted to talk yeah, to your so viewers with me here, because you never talked to any of yours, and they kind of- yeah. At this point, he is really fishing for T. He is really wanting her to speak about the Veronica Wang situation in a way that she doesn't feel comfortable, as you can tell via her body language, okay? Um, okay, so I, I guess like the thing that I would clear up is that a lot of people think that I didn't like you after those videos. Okay, and did so, you say that? Oh, I didn't see them. Yeah, so I guess it kind of like made it seem like because of those videos and then we didn't publicly talk to each other, like post like pictures or videos until way after when we met like a couple months ago. Like a year later. Yeah, so during that time period, people thought that maybe we didn't like each other at all. Okay. So as y'all can see, Stephanie Sue is basically just trying to nip this in the bud and deflect the conversation away from where he wants it to go. All right. Okay. Because of those videos, so okay. keeping it basic. I didn't feel that way though. Okay. Did you feel that way? <laughs> person you know yeah. three four months ago that we sat down and you really opened up to me um and when i heard when you sat down with me we literally how long we were at that restaurant for until two in the morning they kicked us out of there yeah, okay we pretty much we were yeah. there for like four hours and we talked about a lot of his personal life my personal life her goals stuff it up but as friends we she also oh, i don't have a personal life <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. oh my God. there's yes. one more last night with me mm. Well, that ended abruptly, that whole conversation. So, if y'all didn't know, which y'all probably already do know, Stephanie Sue was saying that, hey, 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 stop. If y'all didn't know, Stephanie Sue was basically saying that she did not agree to speak on the tea and the drama of the Veronica Wang situation. She didn't want to address that at all. All she wanted to address was, we knew each other because of the Shook Bong situation, Veronica Wang situation or whatever, but... There is no beef between us two. We decided to collab and here we are. Nothing more, nothing less. All right, let's continue. I'm sorry. One more thing I think I want to address on this. Listen, out of all the cooks, you're the best cook, you're the second best cook, I'm the Thank worst you. cook. You haven't even had me cooking yet. Oh, uh, I just know. <laughs> if I can't cook ramen this, I can't cook anything. And I'm sure. And she looking like, all right, bitch, let's end this fucking video. <laughs> she is over <laughs> it, my nigga. Yeah, so that's how I survive. <laughs> At this point, Stephanie Sue cannot believe the audacity <laughs> of Mr. Nikocado trying to make her talk about the very thing that she said she did not want to talk about. I find that very funny. My biggest insecurity is my double chin. What's your biggest insecurity? He's not going to be able to tell you yeah. unless he points at it. Have I? Not insecure about anything? Yes, everyone's insecure about something. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't put everybody under that umbrella. I feel like if y'all didn't know, I'm going to put a clip in, okay? If y'all don't know, Zach Choi does not talk on any of his videos anymore. I haven't posted any talking videos since I started because I've been a little bit insecure about my voice. He was kind of insecure about his voice, which I didn't find anything wrong with his voice. But, you know, everybody looks at their own insecurities in different ways. So... I feel like this was being a little messy. Maybe not. Maybe I'm overanalyzing the situation, but I'm pretty sure Nick Akato, Mr. Avocado, knows why Zach Choi does not speak on his videos. You know, he clearly said on a video that he doesn't speak because he's insecure about his voice. So you look at him and try to make him uncomfortable by asking him what his insecurity is, impressing him to the point to where it's awkward as fuck and you won't let it go. If he says he doesn't have an insecurity, let it go, okay? So I was thinking that Nick Akato may have thought that maybe he would point at his voice box or something like that or his throat, but I feel like that was very messy because I'm pretty sure that Zach Choi, if he opened up to the world about why he doesn't speak on his videos, I'm pretty sure he has opened up to his what is supposed to be a good friend of his, Nick Cotto Avocado, okay? About his insecurities about his voice. Even Stephanie Sue, she is getting uncomfortable for Mr. Zach Choi because she probably knows what his insecurity is, which he stated is his voice, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm also thinking like, how would he explain it? 
That's just messy. Okay, I'm sorry. He's perfect. So, to me. Uh, and then saying he's perfect. Like, come on, dude. No, of course. He has. So obviously, you have that too. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Cringe level 1 to 10. How cringy was this video to y'all, man? I'm gonna have to say like a 12. This video is long enough, man. I feel like I have expressed myself as much as I could on everything that I could actually, you know, see for myself. The last video that he did, Chick-fil-A and Fire Noodles, I think it was Chick-fil-A and Fire Noodles on his uh, main channel, Nikocado, Nikocado Avocado, did the video in a more soft tone, a more humble tone, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like he knows the pressure is on and I feel like that is affecting his energy in a way, okay? He says that he needs to be quiet because of certain things and neighbors and shit like that, but I personally think that he is feeling really, he's feeling a lot of shame, probably a lot of guilt, and it is draining his energy. Hey guys, it's Nikocado Avocado. Welcome to my eating show. Today, I'm having Chick-fil-A spicy noodles. With that being said, prayers for Stephanie Sue, Nikocado Avocado, and Zach Choi, and everybody involved in this situation, man. Shout out to all of you guys. I pray for this situation to be rectified in the most loving way, and I hope some understanding can be found and also some lessons to be learned. Love you guys so much. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about all elements. I know I talked about a lot on this video here, but let me know exactly how you guys feel. Thank you guys for dropping by. If you have not already, make sure you join the Dynasty, baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Share this video with a friend, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the real diamond M and my backup page at the real diamond MM. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend and tell a friend and tell they ain't your mama, tell they uncle Joe. That nigga is still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. And we out.